At the beginning of the movie, we see a family in their head, Ichiro, who has worked tirelessly to build their dwelling. But Ichiro's family dismisses his struggles as insignificant. They think of Ichiro as a useless and stupid person, even though he used to struggle hard for them the whole day. But they were not respectful or thankful to him. Ichiro's kids used to feel embarrassed about accepting him as their father. They assumed that Ichiro had done nothing throughout his life, as their wishes were never fulfilled because of him. Furthermore, they regard him as a coward. But his family did not understand that Ichiro had reached the peak of his working age. Now it is his children's responsibility to work. However, Ichiro's children were unaware of their responsibilities. They used to blame everything on their father. Despite these difficulties, Ichiro used to work hard. Ichiro used to feel lonely in spite of the presence of his family. No one in the office used to respect him as he was a straightforward person. Furthermore, Ichiro had no friends and his health condition also deteriorated as a result of this situation. When he visits the doctor for a routine checkup, the doctor informs him that he has cancer and could die soon. Ichiro tries to inform his family about his medical condition, but his family overlooks this matter, as all of his family members are engaged in the pursuit of their lives. Meanwhile, Ichiro feels happy when he finds a dog named Hanako, and that dog was very faithful to him. When Ichiro's wife finds out about the dog, she asks him to get rid of it. But Hanako does not leave him. Now he insists Hanako to move away from him. But that dog does not go anywhere. Ichiro brings the dog to a park to keep it far from him. Furthermore, he notices another boy in the park named Hiro. Ichiro sees a very weird spaceship that falls on them before he can understand anything, and instantly both of them fall unconscious. Ichiro wakes up in the morning, returns to his home along with Hanako, and everything looks strange to him. He could now perform tasks that were considered unfit for him previously. Furthermore, he feels a mysterious strength in his body. In the meantime, he glimpses one of his fingernails being uncovered and notices two USB pins. His whole face opens as he touches his throat. Both of his arms were also open. Now he understands the whole situation. It means that he has some alien force. Now he had turned into a machine with a human face. On the other hand, Hiro soon understands this technological power. He becomes a great controller of his powers. Hiro could also fire through his finger and could control any electric device perfectly. Later, he also reveals his powers to his friends. Hiro is a lonely boy who lives with his single mother. His father abandoned his family in search of wealth. This was the reason that Hiro always wanted to see his mother happy. But Hiro's financial condition was poor, and this made him very dejected. Hiro used to feel jealous and aggressive when he looked upon a happy family. Contrarily, Ichiro also knows about his superpowers. He realizes that he could heal a pigeon within no time. Ichiro hears a crying sound and reaches a hospital, chasing that sound. He witnesses that a lady's son is losing his life to a terminal disease. Ichiro recovers her son using his power. Now, Ichiro, thinks that he will use his superpowers to help others. On the other hand, Hiro decides to irritate people and teases some of the boys in the college. His friends also begin to feel his terror while observing his evil deeds. He starts to think of himself as a king because of his superpowers and thinks of taking revenge on everyone. He goes to his father to kill his entire family. But he avoids the killing because of his half-brother and returns to his home. Then he hears the laughing sound of a family on the way. Hiro loses his temper and kills all the members of that family. This news spreads quickly. Hiro's friend Yuko understands that the crime has been committed by Hiro because no one could commit that crime in such a way. Hiro is left alone as Yuko breaks up with him. On the other hand, Ichiro also looks very upset because of his new powers, as he was not performing his tasks properly in his office and pleads before his boss for his mistakes. Later, Ichiro returns to his home. His wife informs him that his son is not willing to go to college and his daughter Marie also wants to change her college. Furthermore, the most shocking fact is revealed here, and we come to know that his wife has a relationship with another guy. Poor Ichiro does not utter a word to anyone and claims that everyone has the right to live their own life, as a man can lead his life however he likes. He says to his son, 
don't be afraid of others. He also advises Marie that she can build a career in an art subject. In spite of the fulfillment of the family members' wishes, they still find fault with Ichiro. Now Ichiro sits in the corner as he feels very dejected. At the same time, he hears a weeping sound. It was the crying sound of Yuko, as he was very much worried about Hiro's mistakes. Because his friend was walking down the wrong path in life. Now Ichiro wants to reach there immediately. His robotic wings emerge immediately, and he quickly reaches Yuko by flying. When he reaches that place, Yuko reveals to him the whole truth. He says it is you who can stop him. Yuko helps Ichiro to develop his skills so as to fight with Hiro. Later, Ichiro drinks the energy drink. But his robotic alien machine does not accept excess sodium content present in the water as it malfunctions and ejects that water instantly. On the other hand, the cops corner Hiro to apprehend him as he was responsible for the murder of an innocent family. They all start to seize Hiro. But Hiro does not hear the warnings of anyone and escapes from there by shooting everyone present there. Later, Hiro takes refuge at Xi'an's house. He is now known everywhere for his criminal activities and has become the most wanted by cops. Everyone starts to blame Hiro's mother because of him. Due to this, she becomes very sad and commits suicide. Hiro goes crazy with anger when he finds out about his mother's suicide. Now he decides to victimize everyone who has gone against him. He hacks their devices and starts to kill everyone. But Ichiro knows that Hiro is behind all these murders, and he advises his family members to keep themselves away from all the electronic devices. But no member of his family takes his advice seriously. On the other hand, Hiro is planning to kill people using other methods. Meanwhile, his friend Shien comes there, and she also knows that Hiro is behind all these killings. In spite of this, she helps Hiro. She was certain that Hiro would soon be mended. And then things will resume their usual course. Now Hiro also gets sentimental and vows that he will not kill anyone. At the same time, armed men enter that place and begin shooting at Hiro. He was not worried about himself there, as his body was fortified with alien technology. Sadly, Shein is shot and dies as a result of the wound, despite Hiro's best efforts to save her. He gets very enraged after Shein's death and decides to kill everyone in the country. Eventually, he hacks all computers, mobiles, and billboards. In this way, he starts to kill several people in the city. The whole city just goes out of control and the people begin to run here and there in fear. Contrarily, the survivors were joking around with all the information. Ichiro's kids were also among them. Ichiro now hacks all screens with the help of Yuko, and conveys a message to all that everyone should keep away from all their electronic devices. In doing so, the death rate of the people was also reduced. Now Hiro also begins to use his weapons. He bombards the city's skyscrapers with numerous missiles. After witnessing the massive destruction, Ichiro decides to confront Hiro. A great fight starts between both of them. However, while flying, Hiro tries to pull a helicopter down. But Ichiro rescues that pilot. Ichiro again begins to run from Hiro, as he is not as powerful as Hiro. Ichiro makes Hiro deceitfully drink the energy drink which contains excess sodium content. However, Hiro's robotic body was built at a high technological level, so the salty water does not affect him soon. So Ichiro takes Hiro far from Earth to outer space. Now salty water begins to affect Hiro. As Hiro loses his power, Ichiro attacks him with his full power. Later, he goes to see his daughter and saves her life by giving her an electric shock with his power. Later, Hiro again reaches there and starts to beat Ichiro violently. Eventually, Ichiro's condition begins to worsen. Furthermore, Hiro makes his next victim Marie, and he begins to throw her from the edge of the building. Ichiro offers his life in exchange for Marie's life. In spite of this, Hiro throws her down. Now the mysterious powers begin to magnify in Ichiro as Hiro leaves her to gravity. Finally, he kills Hiro with his full powers and protects his daughter.